Okay, so I just want to say welcome everyone who's who's coming to the the last um, BPPR Circle Education Series, and we had a great year. I mean, everybody learned something different, something new, and then you also applied it. And to be honest, it was kind of hard. I'm like, oh my god, I said trying to find out who were the top five clubs, you know, for the social media channel, just going through each one. I said, man, I could have done better, but I just had to do my due diligence and just look through each club online. And it was amazing. And I did find the top five, which was great. But before I get into like all the appreciations, um, what I'm going to be doing is giving a presentation without PowerPoint, because I really want to talk to you um, about how to stay strong, how to have a strong year, how to keep growing. Because, you know, as we get to the end of the year, I feel like there's nothing else for us to do. There's always something for us to do. And we stop growing, we start getting relaxed. We can't wait to see June 30th, right? Because that's the end of the year. But however, our clubs still need us. Um, if you are, let me see. Let me just mute. Okay. All right. Let me just see. I have somebody coming in. Hey, um, Gary, you don't mind me making you a host, a co-host? I can do that. Okay. Just in case. Um, let me see. I don't know if I can do I can that. watch and let people come in. Yeah, let me see. I don't know why it won't let me do co-host. Oh, well. if they come in, if you see them come in, you can let them in. I don't right. know. But anyway, um, what I want to do is I'm probably just go ahead and you can either put me in speaker view. I'm going to keep you in gallery uh, because I want to see your faces. <laughs> so I just want to um, start by saying, you know, this this keynote is all about ending strong and keep on growing. You know, as you have started in your role, some of you started in BPPR doing it for the second time. Some of you came in not knowing what to do. No succession plan, nothing. You just came in with a blank slate, but you kept growing because you came to these sessions, which is great. And, and that's exactly what you want to keep doing. But besides growing, your club needs you, especially in this last month. It's June 1st, and we know that right now is beat the clock. And this is your opportunity. If you don't have a Facebook page, create it now. If you do have one, let's start using it. And maybe start posting at least three times a week on why should someone join your club? What are the values? What are the benefits of being a Toastmaster? So it's very important to understand what your role is towards the end of the year as a vice president of public relations. It's because you are the face of your club. And so it's very important to get that information out there Everything that you learned this year from how to post, how to open up a Facebook page, which was Richard Windover, he really showed you all the different ways on how to utilize your Facebook page. Then we have Sheila Eden Brown. Now, I know that she sent a weekly planner to those who had registered. And I sent that out, utilize that this month. It's very important because one, you're going to be organized, very organized. You're going to know exactly what you're going to post. You know what dates you're going to post it. And this is going to really help your club get more members because don't you want to be distinguished? We want to help the district get distinguished, but you want to also help your club as well. So this is the reason why you came to these BPPR sessions. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. So you really want to hone all your skills in the last month. That's exactly how you're going to end strong. 
because without these sessions, you know, you're learning from all your peers. And that's exactly what we're going to do in probably in the last 10 minutes of this presentation. I really want you to just talk about what you really learned this year that you have applied to your club. But this here presentation is very understanding that as you are ending your year, make sure you have a strong succession plan. Make sure that the person that's coming in after you is set up for success. Make sure they know exactly what you're using, what social media channels you have, your club website, how does it work? How do you communicate with your executive team? Don't be afraid to do it because it doesn't matter how you start it. It's how you end is, is what matters because the next person is going to be impressed by your succession plan. And guess what? It's going to continue to the next person and the next person and the next person because you really want to stop this thing where we say, oh, I'm not going to give them what I learned. No, you really want to, because one, they need to know what processes you have, and then they can add on to the next person, to the next person, and it just keeps growing and growing. And now you have a strong BPPR team, or you can have a team, but BPPR department in your, in your club, because BPPR we know is the most important person to making sure your club gets noticed. And that's how you bring in new guests and you can turn them into members. So this, everything is connected. So it's very important that you get the word out. And then not only that, you end with a bang. Now we go towards growth. Growth is very important. We think because June 30th has arrived, it's vacation time. And of course, it is vacation time. But however, your club still needs you. Even though I am the PR manager for District 103, guess what? June 30th is for me. But guess what? Next year, I'm going to be the vice president of membership. It doesn't stop. I want to keep growing. I want my club to keep growing. Sometimes we can do a role twice. I've been a VP of membership, maybe twice, probably my third time going to, to be in this role. But I probably will learn something different in my third round. Last time, I probably was out there on the streets <laughs> showing everybody my Toastmasters folder. But guess what? Everything is virtual. Now it's a new ball game. Now I got to figure out how am I going to get these guests in the door? And that's what you're going to do. You're going to figure out what are some different things that you can do next year. Even if you're not a club officer, maybe you want to better your speaking skills. Maybe you want to do more speeches. Maybe you want to be a mentor to someone. Maybe the next BBPR. You never know. So growth is everything. So you just don't stop because June 30th is around and you're just glad that the year is over. Now you just have to make another goal. What goal are you looking towards and you want to fulfill it for next year? And you want to keep growing. Maybe you want to be part of the district. You never know. We are looking for people for the PR team. So if you're thinking about growing your leadership skills, stay tuned. You never know. You don't know what your future may hold. So we always thinking, always be thinking about the next goal in mind because it doesn't stop here as a BPPR. And that is the reason why in D103 Toastmasters, last year we said that we want to build future leaders. And that was Joe McCarty's dream. And then here come Greg Thompson. He said that he wanted to put the foot on the gas. We want to keep it going. And that's what you're going to do. 
We put our foot on the gas, but we can't hit the brake, okay? You can take some time off. Don't get me wrong, but don't take too much time off because in order for us to grow as leaders, you have to keep growing. You have to keep taking the courses. You have to keep practicing your leadership skills here at Toastmasters because their slogan is where leaders are made. And we want to show our future leaders what Toastmasters have to offer. Because we just don't want them to think that they're just coming to a meeting, right? They're coming to a meeting because one, they're becoming better speakers, they're becoming a great, better listeners because being a leader, you have to be a great listener. And then you're also taking on a role, meaning you're held accountable for that role. And then everyone's looking up to you as a Toastmaster, as a grammarian, as a timer, because time management is everything when we are speakers and leaders. So it's very important that we understand the whole full picture about Toastmasters and how it benefits you as a vice president of public relations. So I want to, I just want those who really want to talk about how did you really benefit this year? How did you grow by coming to these sessions? Do you feel a difference from the first day you came to one of these sessions? Explain, tell, tell all, show out. I don't care. This is your day. <laughs> Martha. Excellent. You know, I always like to jump out of the gate first. Yes. One of the things that was really important for me to not become complacent with what I knew already because I've been a PRM, but to have an open mind about all the new things that I was going to learn. And man, when I did that, I learned so much from you. I learned so much from the guests that came in and shared different things. The man that came in, I think his name was Bernie, if I'm not mistaken. He shared with us how we were to go in and how to how to really uh, use the site. Richard, I think it's Richard, Richard. Yes. Now, I got to tell you, Richard, he really caught me off guard because I thought I knew quite a bit, but I really <laughs> didn't. And I think having that mindset coming in that way, that's what helped me. I was able to take that information back to the clubs that are in District 3 that I'm currently a member of, as well as District 103. And I just had dialogues after dialogues on different things with different people that were in those roles. And I'll never forget, I was in a conversation with Dr. Tina Taylor. And Dr. Tina Taylor, the light bulb came on. And she just took her club, the one club she's in, the, uh, I think it's a Centra Rising Voices, we together took that club to a whole new level of understanding and just being in a good place to know what's needed and being able to be expeditious and doing it. And I can tell you this, it made me come back to be an area director in your district wow. because I, I just didn't think That's I awesome. offered enough. And people kept asking me, don't you have enough on your plate already? <laughs> Maybe not because I'm so thirsty. And people in the district that are in the leadership areas, they saw that. I got the phone call from two distinguished leaders. And I can tell you right now, the Central Rising Voices, they reached their goals. In addition to me helping another club, New Faith, they reached their goals. Their goals did not populate yet for that, but they are in the distinguished status right now, which is excellent. That's They're both awesome. distinguished. And let me not forget about Bellwood Toastmasters. Bellwood Toastmasters, when I first went in there, Mamie, I encouraged her to come to the session with us because she was the VP of E. And she came in and she said, oh my goodness, Martha, I'm so glad that you and Prince came alone and helped us where we were. But because I'm not gonna take up all the time from the rest of the dynamic speakers, I just wanna say 
all of those things that were done, people, they talk about it. And now that I have Oak Park, Bellwood, Maywood, and this one club, Sisters and Brothers, something like that, I don't know the name right away. Those are gonna be my clubs for the area. And I'm just so excited to be able to share all the things that I've learned and point them to this meeting when they're the VP uh, PR in those clubs and inviting the ones that are not VPEs to this session as well. I hope the next session starting 7-1 will be as dynamic as your sessions has been. And they, you know me, I have to have something to intrigue me. I have to have a stimulating moment. And yes. every time you just kept, you put, you now I'm gonna say what you said. You said, <laughs> don't put the foot on the brakes. You did not do that with me. As a matter of fact, you gave it a little bit more gas and I love right. it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh thank, thank you, you, Martha. Thank you so much. Oh, anyone wants to share their experience and their growth opportunities as a VPPR? I know we do have some individuals that do uh, attend and they're not VPPRs, but they really enjoy the sessions. And you're, you're welcome to share as well. Uh, Dr. Tina. Well, I just want to say that I, thank you, Martha, for giving me that plug. It's cool. <laughs> but I, I really want to say that um, I had to get on today because I wanted to make sure I was assisted another member before I came on. And what is kind of cool is being able to um, really understand what the VPPPR position really is and how that is so essential in, F, in order to make the club very successful. And when you get information because I'm not, you know, I think, Bella, you know, I'm not all that, you know, I, well, I think I met you a while back and I said, I have no clue about this social media. I don't even understand <laughs> it. I don't know what to do with it. Look, I'm just getting used to texting people, okay? Right. That's my extent. <laughs> I can talk to you. I can make a phone call to you and I can text you now, okay? Right. But when I started doing this, this VPR, I mean, there were some things I was going to say, oh, I can do that on Facebook. I would go back to Facebook and start changing some stuff. Through the, I'd go talk to Martha. Me and Martha get on the line. We'd be like going through this and going through that changing. We got to the, you know, when we got the club website for both my both my clubs. I'm like, I got change that over there. Put it. I learned how to put pictures. Look, I can I can cut and paste now. It's amazing what I can do. <laughs> so I just want you to know, I thought it was very good all the sessions that happened. Even though I might not have made every one of them, but the sessions that I that I really did make, it was very beneficial to to get those things. And sometimes I think it just makes me want to repeat again because it's not going to get old. It's just going to shift things. It's going to keep changing and moving. But I believe, exactly. um, yeah, and I, that, that's what technology does, right? It doesn't know. It doesn't really stand still too long. But I really, really um, took the. It made sense to me, and it, it. I'm just happy I was able to come on and was as part of that because you know they just said you know I was just voluntold I was the VPPPR. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> and, but I, I know that's once I got here, but I, but I I get it because I've had other experience with other positions. But I really realized how important it is, and it really isn't that complicated if you just take the time to listen to see. And when you do have a question, thank goodness you can call. Thank goodness you can make outreach to somebody that will help you get through whatever it is that you can't seem to get in your, you know, your head there for a minute. So I really, really appreciated all the little things that you have done for this particular, that was just so poignant to just really make it really specific so that, you know, clubs can be very, very successful, not just our, my club, but every club can be very, very mm -hmm. successful. So thank, thank you. you so much. Yeah. Yeah. And you're right. Thank you, uh, Dr. Tina. Uh, because you're right, technology does change. When Richard came on and he talked about Facebook pages, there are some things in there. I was like, oh my. I was like, I have to get back on it. Because as you know, Facebook had changed to meta because we talk about metaverse and, and no telling what else is going to be new on Facebook. You just have to keep up to date on uh, what's going on and just sit down, maybe have an hour to yourself to Facebook because Sometimes you see all that wording and it's, it's just like, oh, wow, it's just taken back. And 
the great thing about this session is that we have a lot of talented people. I didn't want to be the only one talking in each session. And it's great to bring new people on, uh, even on the PR team, because we got some great talent uh, to help you out on how to do certain things in PR. I even tried to reach out to our branding team <laughs> at Toastmasters International. Of course, they have busy lives with Toastmasters International. But however, we can always reach out to other districts. Um, you know, we learn from each other. And that's, this is the reason why we have these sessions because we want to learn from each other and keep growing. And this is the reason why in this session, you end strong, but you keep growing. And which is a great thing. And it's amazing how we see other individuals that come here, they are not VPPRs, but they're growing as well. And they're taking it back to their club and whoever's their VPPR, or if they're on their committee, they can apply what they have learned. Um, do anyone else want to share their growth opportunities this year by attending these sessions? Uh, Bev? Oops, I'm sorry, I skipped. Okay. Uh, Deborah, she had her hand up. <laughs> okay. okay, so I have Deborah go and then you'll go, Bev. Okay, hello. Just letting everybody know I'm still going through the healing process, but I'm getting better. <laughs> Pretty soon I'll be able to lift up my computer with both hands instead of one. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> I, uh, first of all, this was my first time being an officer as a VPPR. I was a little apprehensive about it because I knew nothing about what to do. Your circle and this meeting with other people who may have been having the same challenge that I have or had the knowledge were able to help me to get to the point where I am. For example, I know how to do Canva. Woo! I can make my own posters. <laughs> <laughs> I knew how to post on my 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 private Facebook page but not on the on our club's website. So I learned how to do that and promote different uh, club functions as well as district functions, as well as Toastmasters International. So uh, wait, let me tell y'all, you know how good I am? I designed my daughter's birthday invitation, designed it using Canva, okay? And I didn't ask for nobody's help, right, Valerie? That's right. <laughs> I sent it to her and she, I said, now if she approves it, I know I'm onto something. She <laughs> approved it and I was happy. I was happy, but I would like to say that everyone on, on this team have been working with, we've been working with each other. But Valerie, if it was not for you coming up with this idea and I'm praying that it continue on, it would be, just you doing this just helped us all. I, I'm, I can feel it. I can see it. And you didn't only limit it to VPPRs. You, you extended it to anybody from anybody's club around the world if they wanted to come. Yeah. So thank you for this opportunity. You taught me something. Now, <laughs> I don't know if I want to be another uh, VPPR, but at least whatever <laughs> position I take, I'll know how to do the cam go to Canva and make up some uh, flyers. Okay. <laughs> Great. You can be VPE. <laughs> so thank you so, so much. I really appreciate you and everyone else here. Hey, Dr. Oh. T. <laughs> <laughs> thank you now, so Sheila, much. Deborah. You guys. Oh, Gary. Yeah. Alice Ann, look. Alice Ann is the bomb.com. Okay. That's all I have. Yes. <laughs> she is thank the bomb.com. She has helped out with a lot of stuff. So. Uh, that's all I have to say. I pray that everyone have a good role next year. Okay. And at least you know how to expose some stuff to other people if they need some help. Okay. Thank you so much, Deborah. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. And CJ Powers, he was amazing when he came on to teach us about Canva. And it was just amazing how, every, you know, I've heard from different people, including Deborah 
how they are applying Canva. Even myself, I'm using Canva more, which I had created the Zoom background on Canva. So it, it keeps it, you know, going, you know, where you can just keep designing and you don't have to be a perfect expert in design. They have everything for you on Canva. So Carmen Mesa. Hi, I'm just finishing my dinner here. So. <laughs> um, no, I've, I've enjoyed attending these. I found that I was a VPE last year and I found all these really helpful. Um, and I also enjoyed these sessions too. I haven't hit all of them, but um, it has inspired me. You know, I'm going to continue to support our new VPR. And I, I did invite her to this, but I don't know if she was able to make it. But all of these sessions have been really helpful. They have been inspiring. And uh, it's giving me new ideas of how to really go do out there and get outreach for our club. Okay, thank you so much, Carmen, for sharing. Thank you for coming to these events. It's, it's great um, to hear that everyone's growing uh, by what they're learning. And then I, we have Ros Rosalind. Rosalind, yes. Rosalind. Mm -hmm. Good evening, everyone. So what I'm trying to figure out, uh, to be honest, uh, on, I was just looking up, I think it was May 19th, I received an email for an invite to one of these sessions because I'm one of the members for Prosperity Toastmasters, so uh -huh. new to the group. And so when I attended the last one, I wasn't sure what the intent was other than to help me to further grow. And so I've had a chance to attend that session and today's session. But I do have interest, and I did put it in the chat, and someone just responded. As I'm listening to everyone talk, there seems to be a lot of good information for us to go back and review. And so I'm looking to go back and have a chance to revisit some of that because I'm trying to learn Canva, and I usually run away from Facebook edits <laughs> because I don't want to break anything. So I'm hoping that by looking at some of that information, I'll get some tools and some additional skill sets that I can apply. So whomever sent me the email, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, so I did, uh, if that is, was it the email that gave you the reminder to attend or was it someone that sent you the email to register? I think it was one to register and mm -hmm. it was the May 19th event. Oh, okay. But prior to that, I had not received anything about VPPR. Okay. So with the VPPR Circle Education Series, there is a registration that you do have to or register. You'll find it on the website as well. They call it like the, the PR, VPPR calls. And so like in the future, you'll see that link on the website. It'll be up to date uh, okay. depending on you know, what that date is going to be in that time. And then you'll get a reoccurring, you'll, you'll just put that on your, it'd be a reoccurring link. It would right. never change. <laughs> at okay, all. then thank you for that. Oh, you're welcome. So I did share the, the YouTube channel to District 103. Um, to get to the actual videos, you'll just click on playlists and then you'll see the VPPR sessions under you know where it says vppr circle education series and then you'll i think it's like 12 or 13 videos under there as well and so you'll learn all everything from the past events that we had so do anyone else wants to want to share before i start um the appreciation side you know to honor those who had the top five clubs for those VPPRs. So it's gonna be interesting to see who did get that. And then I'm also going to give um, a celebration to my PR team as well, to those who were able to make it. Oh, and before I do that, I keep forgetting Bev. <laughs> I saw the hand raised. <laughs> I raised my I raised my virtual hand this time because the first time I actually raised my hand. <laughs> <laughs> and I will follow the rules and we're in the virtual world and raise my virtual hand. <laughs> I just want to say 
happy Wednesday to each of you. I have enjoyed my time being the VPPR for Oak Park Toastmasters Club. Valerie, you are amazing. Every session that I attended for all that I learned from you, I shared with our club members and our officers, and they were very inspired of all that I learned when I came into the position, I came in blindly. I was going to step down, but they encouraged me to continue on, which I'm glad I did because I was able to learn more than I thought I would. And I was able to also bring on new members to our club from all the things I've learned from being a VPPR. I also want to thank Alice Ann for all the inspirational sessions that she did to help enlighten us on how to do videos and all the great things to help us put ourselves out there so that we can draw people in to be a part of the club. And I also want to say thank you to both Martha and Prince because they are so inspiring for the encouragement that they do and the help that they give to other clubs. And that helped me stay motivated to continue to do what I do. And one of our club officers was so inspired that he decided to nominate himself to be vice president of public <laughs> relations for the next session. So he That's said, awesome. because of me, he wanted to step in there and follow behind and try to do as well as I did. I think he's going to probably do better, but he keeps saying he's not, but I know he's going to do really, really well. And I just want to say thank you so very much. Oh, you are welcome. It is a pleasure of having you because I always, you know, seen you attend these events and you always apply yourself all the time and, and then staying fully engaged as well. And it's so important to attend these sessions because you're only gonna grow. That's all I'm gonna say is, is growth, 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 growth opportunities, uh, not just, you know, for yourselves, but you're taking this back to your club and they're growing too. And so you can even have, like, I always learn from Allison. <laughs> you can take this and, and, and turn it into a, a presentation in your past <laughs> and what you learned this tonight year. Tonight too, Valerie, tonight too. You get tonight credit too. for tonight too. <laughs> yes. You tell you there's no such thing as free pass, a, a free speech. You got to apply it to something. You so do. You're learning all the time you're doing, whatever it is that you're doing. You can apply it to what you're learning in Pathways and Toastmasters. Take the credit. You, you deserve it. You have done the work. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I am doing something real quick here because I'm getting everything started so I can um, show everybody who got their award. Um, let me see. Let me just put that up. And while I'm doing that, do anyone else uh, want to share anything with, uh, with everyone here today of your growth opportunities? Okay, so we're going to get started here. So I want to take any time away for my fun. And the first thing I want to do is that I want to give honor to those top five VPPRs. And the award that you're going to get is a USB condenser mic. And this is gonna be for your club to continue growing, to do those Facebook Lives. And if you don't wanna do Facebook Live, you wanna do Instagram Reels, you can do that too. But I do want to say thank you to those that really did the work, being consistent, using your social media channels, whichever those, those were. They could be Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. But majority of the clubs that I saw, they were using uh, Facebook because Facebook is really a prominent um, um, platform to advertise your Toastmasters club. And then Instagram, I will say, comes in second, and then LinkedIn. 
but Facebook is very uh, popular. And so what I'm going to do, let me bring up the slide, the presentation, and then you'll be able to see what they were get. All right, so this is a drilling, um, drilling USB condenser desktop computer microphone. So you can plug this into your computer. You can control the volume. I have one of these. This was supposed to be used for my um, my podcast. So of course, my podcast, of course, is going to be coming out soon. I'm not going to be saying when. I always jinx myself. So I will be working on that after my duties as a PR manager, but we'll keep everybody up to date. So I want to um, sh uh, <clears throat> show you who are the winners. So our first winner is, I don't think she's on here right now, is Deborah Blackman Parrish. So I know she was the BPPR of Whale Toastmasters Club 771880. She did such a phenomenal job. She always came to me and said, are these colors? Do these colors look good? Or do the fonts, you know, add up, you know? And so we'll work as a team. And, and I saw all her poses um, from the beginning when she started until the end. So it was really great to see her progressing in her role as a BPPR with Whale, and I do congratulate her. Our next club is, and I know Maria Zepeda, she is here, and she's from Pathfinders Toastmasters Club 2734. Thank you so much, Maria, for what you've done for your club. I saw all your posts on um, Instagram. I saw them on Facebook. They were just consistent. And I just want to thank you. So your club is going to get one of those microphones. Continue the great work that you do for your club. We have Tanja Cook. She's from Orlando Park Toastmasters Club 4178. So I want to congratulate Tanja. I know sometimes, I know she is here sometimes all the time. She's at almost every session, but I don't think she's here today. But in her honor, I just want to thank her for all the work that she's done for her club. She's been consistent. She's been to almost every session. And, um, and she, her club will be honored with that award, with that incentive. Then we have Saturday Sunrise Toastmasters Club 8206. So Precious McClendon, she's going to be honored. Her club is going to be honored with this incentive as well, where their Facebook page has been up to date all the way to the, um, the 28th. I was like, that is amazing. So I was glad to, to see some consistency with all, well, it's not all of them. So this is just Saturday sunrise. And then, hold on for a moment. New Faith Toastmasters. So Robert D. Harris, uh, New Faith Toastmasters Club 1924297. Um, they have been very consistent uh, with their Facebook page. So it was really great to see them uh, putting that information out there about their open houses, everything that was going on with their club. Um, they really put it out there to letting people know what was going on within their club. And just want to congratulate those clubs. These are the five clubs and just give them a hand on a great job doing the social media challenge. And so this was a, called the BPPR Club Social Media Challenge. So we really wanted to see the BPPRs put that information out there about what their club is doing. And then other things such as the conference, the TLI, if they, you know, if they had the information up there, it's just nothing against them if they didn't put it up there. But 
long as they have some consistency on their social media channels, this is how these top five clubs and the BPPRs were recognized. So thank you for all your hard work. All right, so now I'm gonna stop sharing here. And as you can see, Canva is amazing. And, um, and you can do a whole lot of things there. Now I just wanna to get to the really great stuff. And that is the PR team. The public relations team, I'm just gonna say was phenomenal. I know last year we had a small team. We were just getting the processes up trying to get things moving along, how social media channels work and how much, how many people do we need to keep up <laughs> with all the campaigns? And just after that first year from 2020 to 2021, I knew exactly what was needed for this PR team. And this PR team, they rocked. Not, not all of them are here, but majority are here so a couple couldn't be here because of time conflict with other events but i do want to give recognition to those um, who serve on the team and let me just bring up another presentation All right, so the first person that I want to give thanks and appreciation to, and that is Gary Barons. Gary Barons is our newsletter editor. And Gary, I just wanna say thank you for your many contributions, for delivering such great content in that newsletter. I mean, you kept us up to date monthly, and it was just amazing, especially this, this last one. I, I loved it. I mean, I don't know if everybody recognized what Gary did in that newsletter. He used a lot of words that started with E. So you're probably going to be curious, like, oh my God, I got to go back and read it. <laughs> but it was very interesting, very engaging. And I just wanna say thank you for your contributions. And it was a pleasure of working with you and you did a wonderful job this year and in the other years. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, our next person that I want to give honor to, hold on for a minute, this thing. Okay, Dr. Allison Crump. She is our video producer and graphic designer. And if anyone knows how Dr. Allison put it together, she puts it together. If you need a video, <laughs> it's going to be over the top, OK? And it's just amazing. And I just want to say thank you, Dr. Allison Crump, for all that you do for the district. You do such wonderful work and we do appreciate you we really do yes you are amazing and keep up the great work because i know you are staying on on the pr team and you are going to be fabulous <laughs> i know meg kelly could not be here but she is our copywriter i appreciate her because she has shown me a lot about writing creatively <laughs> how to not repeat certain words in different sentences and how to keep the content flowing, which is great. And I just wanna, you know, if she was here, I would just wanna say thank you. And all of our PR team members are gonna be getting something for me for my appreciation for them being on the team as well. And then we have Deborah Blackman Parrish. She was our copy editor. I learned a lot from her. She has a genuine eye for how to structure your um, any kind of content, um, how to take this word out and add this comma and add this word to make it sound unique. And so I do want to say thank you to Deborah. She was amazing. And then we have Maren Jenkins. I know she is not able to make it due to a time conflict, 
But however, her many contributions to managing and supporting the D103 yeah. website, yeah. she did such a great job in doing that. And anything that I needed, she was there. She was on point. And when she says she's a project manager, she is a project manager, <laughs> okay? She knows how to keep things in line and how to prioritize to get things done. I know Sheila Eden Brown, Edens Brown is online. She is our constant contact designer, our Twitter social media manager. And I just want to say thank you. I, I when I say that we have some great talent here, when she says she was a certified constant contact designer, I said she's on my team. <laughs> she is on my team. And she did such a wonderful job. She's very responsive, you know, when it comes to communication. And she just let me know, hey, this has been posted. And it's great when you have a great team that knows how to communicate uh, when things are done because everything is so timely when it comes to public relations and different uh, events that are happening within the district. But I just wanna say thank you, Deb, uh, Sheila, for all your creative design work uh, with Constant Contact and then all that you did for the Twitter handle. And the Twitter is growing. We are now over 100 people and that's a new Twitter account. And you know, Twitter is a slow moving social media and now we have 100 followers. So thank you so much, Sheila. And then we have Richard Weindelfer, and he is the social media manager for Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. And our followers and likes, they've been just up the roof because we put con constantly, we are consistently putting content out there, out there. And any content that I send to Richard, as well as Sheila, is always scheduled, ready to go. And, and that's the kind of team you need. You don't have to chase no one. The contributions that they bring, you know, and Richard, that he brought to the role is amazing and phenomenal. And I just want to thank him for his work as well. And that is my team. And that, that like I said, that team was amazing. And I just give my hands <laughs> to them because they did such such great work um, this year. And I know I had emailed you, uh, Tanja uh, Cook, and your club was recognized for being in the top five. And so your club will get the microphone. And so be looking for that towards probably towards the end of the Toastmasters year. So congratulations to you and your club. Being Thank you. Five. Oh, you're welcome. And then I'll be sending your certificate as well. So now that we have, you know, everybody has been honored. I just want to honor also all our VPPRs, um, even though they're, they're, you know, you're more part of the incentives. You know, the top five is for the clubs. But I just want to let you know that you are very much appreciated um, in the district, uh, within your club, you putting information out there. And then you came to the sessions. And then not only are you going to either repeat your role again, or you're just going to tell the next person that comes right after you, you have to go to the VPPR Circle Education Sessions. <laughs> So you can grow too. So we just want to keep it, keep it going, have everybody learn what it means to be a VPPR. And then if you are meeting with someone that is taking on your role as a VPPR, let them know that this weekend is the Toastmasters Leadership, hold on, uh, Toastmasters Leadership Institute starts at 9 a.m. And then make sure if they're not registered, they can go to D103 Toastmasters under events and they can register there. So it's very important to let them know that they must be trained. 
to be a successful club officer in their BPPR role. And in their, in their role starts July 1st. <laughs> and remember that even though you're not going to be serving in your role next year, remember you have to keep growing. You got to keep growing. You just don't want to be that person that just sit there and say, well, June 30th is here. <laughs> and then you just disappear. So now we come to the fun part. And I know you've been waiting. And the good thing is that we have 20 people. And that's all I can have <laughs> is 20 people for the Kahoot game. And how many people here have played Kahoot? Okay, so I've never if, heard that game. You never heard of it. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you go to, and it's all about ask, answering questions. If you're on your computer, you can go. I'm gonna get the actual. This is Kahoot IT. So let me just bring that up. So if you're on your computer, this is going to be very easy. When I bring up the actual screen, you'll see the key. Uh, so let me go into the chat. And if you're on your phone, if you're on an Android or if you're on an Apple, you can just go to the store and then type in Kahoot, K-A-H-O-O-T. And you can download it there. But if you're on your computer, it's much easier because let me see, let me go ahead and bring this up. And I had to learn this myself um, on how to do this. So let me go ahead and share. And then whoever, and it's going to be 10 questions and it's based on how fast you answer these questions. So if you click on the right one and you answer like within two seconds, you can be the first one at the top of the line. So let me just share my screen. And let me know if you if you are uh, if you're still not stop, still confused by it, please let me know. <laughs> yes. Okay, who was that? Was that Prince? Yeah, Martha was asking. Okay, so I haven't started it for a pin. I haven't started it yet. So, oh, okay. So let me click start. Okay, I hope it okay, it's loading. This is my first time doing this. So, and it should bring up the pen. Okay, got it. T mode. I don't even know what that means. I'm just gonna do, okay, so it's loading the pen. All right, <laughs> so it's waiting for players. So you just put that pen number in and you can just name yourself something. Nine, seven, nine, one, eight. Okay, I see Gary. <laughs> And if you still need help on how to get connected, let me know, because we still have time. You can raise your hand or give me an emoji. <laughs> yeah, you just hit enter, honey. After we put our name in, it says, okay, go. Mm, yeah, go. Okay, I'll see you, Martha. <laughs> Right, 
got about nine people. Okay, there's Prince. And anyone else want to play? Just want to make sure everybody get a chance to play. All right. Okay, so are we good to go? Because I don't want to, is anybody um, downloading the app and waiting to put in the pen? Because I know we, we, we can have like nine more people playing. I just want to put it in real quick. Okay. And then you're going to have 20 seconds to answer. Again, your points get higher um, the faster that you answer the question. Valerie, are these going to be randomly generated or are they ones you pre-selected? Um, so these are, these are questions that I created and there's some questions that I did get online. So it's kind of neat. <laughs> You got to be quick on your feet. All right. All right. So we're going to get started. Okay. And if you can put yourself on mute, if you're not on mute, please mute yourself. All right. So I think we got about 11 people and, um, and I'm just about to go start it. Okay. So what year Toastmaster was founded? Got 20 seconds. Nineteen twenty four is when Toastmasters was founded. All right, so Prince, Trina, and Gary are in the top three. So our next question is, true or false? Okay, so six got it right and two got it wrong. All right. Okay, Prince is still at the top and Gary is second and Trina is third and Ira and then we got Ansel. The next question is a quiz. Who is the founder of Toastmasters? <laughs> All right, everyone got that right. <laughs> All right. All right, quiz. And which year was Toastmasters International website launched? All right, we got two right. I know that was a tricky question. <laughs> All right, fancy, fancy one is in uh, number one and Prince two and Gary number three. All right, our next quiz, what is the slogan of Toastmasters International? We should all know this one.
Oh boy, so we got seven, one. Okay, so now we know where leaders are made. Okay, Prince is in the lead. Okay, our next quiz, which is the Toastmasters color for Toastmasters districts? All right, so we got seven right. And then one is wrong. So burgundy is the color for districts. I learned that a long time ago with our um, web designer. Okay, next question is, which roles are not entitled roles for reimbursement? Yep, that's blogger, because you know, blogger is not a role, <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, let's see who is in the lead. Prince is in the lead, that's great. And then we have Fancy One and Trina is number three. True or false? Toastmasters colors are burnt orange and green. <laughs> Okay, seven right and one was incorrect. So now you know that burnt orange and green is not Toastmasters colors. So next, let's see who's in the lead. Fancy one. Again, it's based on how fast you answer the questions. That's how you gain those points. Where is the Toastmasters International Headquarters located? All right, yes, that's Inglewood, Colorado. It's where they are located. That's their new headquarters. All right, let's see who's ranking. All right, Prince is in the lead. Fancy One is second and Trina is still in third. All right, we still got the same. So this is the last final question. Where is the 2022 Toastmasters International Convention is gonna be held? That is correct, Nashville, Tennessee is where our convention is gonna be held. And let's see who is in the final three. Trina is in third place. Fancy one, second place. All right, and Prince is in first place. Congratulations to our top three, and you all will be receiving, let me just see what next is. Let me just stop sharing. <laughs> so our top three winners are, now I need to know who is fancy one, because I need to get your name. Is that Bev? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So Prince, um, let's see, hold on for a minute. Bev and Trina, you will be getting an email from me. Uh, you'll get a $20 Toastmasters 
certificate and you'll be able to pick something on the Toastmasters website. Once their website comes back up, uh, and then you'll be able to select something. It'll be like a Google form and you just fill it out. And then once you see what you want, you just type it in and then submit it. And then we'll order it for you and you get it before the end of the year. End of the Toastmasters year, not the end of the year. <laughs> yes. So uh, congratulations to our winners. That was fun. I know those were some, some tricky questions about um, some other things like the colors and things of that nature. <laughs> and color for branding is very important that we know the difference between club colors, which is blue, and district is burgundy. And then, of course, the whole Toastmasters brand cannot be distorted by any other colors, but the colors that they give us in that branding manual. So that's the reason why I put a little bit of, of uh, VPPR questions in there uh, for you all. But it's just been a pleasure. I cannot believe this is like the end of the year, <laughs> end of the Toastmasters year and starting of June 1st. But again, you want to make sure that you end your year strong and to make sure that you continue growing. And if you ever need to, you know, talk to me or speak with me, I know that um, I know I will no longer have the, the PRM email address, but you can always reach out to me from this. Let me see here. Let me give you my personal email address. But we will be announcing who is the new um, PR manager soon. I don't want to let the cat out the box <laughs> yet, uh, because as you know, I love Facebook Live. And this individual is going to be mentioned on Facebook Live. And did you have your hand up, Gary? Oh, okay. That's your oh, that's your phone. <laughs> yeah. So we will have a Facebook Live on that individual that's going to be uh, my successor, and so it's going to be you know very interesting who it's going to be. Like we did for the conference chair, we're going to do the same thing uh, for this individual, and then we're going to just going to continue the momentum for next year. And uh, do anyone have anything like? that they want to say, any questions, anything of that nature. Although I didn't win any awards, it's probably because I'm not a PRM. <laughs> I loved all of your sessions. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you so much, Martha. And I enjoy you coming as well. You and Prince, you brought a lot of value to the VPPR and Circle Education sessions. You really helped our members with a lot of things for their Facebook, for their backgrounds, for Zoom. I know that was like one of the things that Mamie said that she really, really uh, value that from you and you and Prince. You, Martha and Prince, you're very valued here. I see that Elizabeth have her hands up, hand up. <laughs> I do, I do. I wanted to say thank you on behalf of New Faith Toastmasters, our VPPR, Bo Harris, does put all kinds of stuff on Facebook. This is going to be the biggest surprise to him yes. that he has won this on behalf of, he is consistently posting about the club and he is always teaching us something. Now we use something else, Meetup, and Meetup wasn't mentioned, but mm -hmm. Meetup was, was um, proposed and, and pushed forward in the district a few years ago, but we don't hear a lot about it now. And so our club uses Meetup in addition to the other social media outlets that you mentioned. But I just wanted to say thank you. It's such an honor to get that award. And he's going to be so excited to know that his hard work has paid off and he hasn't even attended your session to really know what's going on. But I, I come and I give him updates. So That's awesome. he's, he's going to be thrilled and over the moon about that microphone. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice microphone. Yes, so, and he's going to be doing some we, Facebook Live. 
<laughs> we thank you. We thank you. And thank you for keeping up, keeping VPR uh, so vibrant. So it's so important. And we just thank you for keeping it in front of us. Oh, thank you so much, Elizabeth. Thank you, Valerie. Oh, you're welcome. And it was kind of an honor to do a collage for New Faith. Oh, that's amazing. That's good. Yes, I think I can. Or Elizabeth can show it. She's probably got no, it. No, pull it up. Pull it up. I don't, I don't have it. <laughs> Let me dig it for it. <laughs> I like your background, Prince. This is for Saturday's TLI with me being a presenter. I figured I like I'd that. get something that was fiery. Right. And, <laughs> and it ties to the fact that I am in Phoenix, not the South suburb. Right. <laughs> Now in the fire. And when you think I'm about waiting. it, the actual Phoenix does burn itself on a funeral pyre every 500 oh. years to refine itself. <laughs> yes, it can't be hot. <laughs> That's an understatement here. <laughs> well, we're, we're waiting a, for free. We're going to be in the hundreds for quite a while. Oh, wow. Free. And y'all got dry heat. Uh, what did you say, Trina? I'm sorry. Did you I, want to I'm say sorry. Something? I'm sorry. I'm just so happy I was able to join in. Prince and I jumped off another call. And look, we see each other on this one. But while he's pulling up <laughs> his um, presentation, I just wanted to publicly say, um, well, well, great job, Valerie. Job well done. For the last two years, you have led um, so gracefully mm -hmm. and with so much fire. And I am not a VPPR this year, but I was for the previous years. And um, I always try to pop in to support and just to gain knowledge like Martha. I'm going to be like Martha. Get the knowledge. <laughs> but um, you have encouraged us. And um, you have encouraged us. You have been so committed and faithful to these sessions with allowing us to um, take part in the information and to learn and to grow um, our skill sets, whether it's social media, um, advancing our clubs, gaining members, just giving us nuggets from all over the spectrum. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for, on behalf of CTA Toastmasters and all that you have shared the knowledge with, with our club officers. You've done a great job. And um, we won't forget all this information. <laughs> I know I, I print it out. I, I save it. I'm like, oh my God, the presenters were awesome. Everyone that have um, spoke on this platform has been so helpful with the knowledge and information. So timely, especially during the pandemic, we were able to log on, gain yes. free information and to grow our clubs and Toastmasters. So thank you and all of your team. Gary, Bev, Martha, all of you guys that are here, that's on the team that makes it what it is. And so great job to all of you guys. Thank excellent, you so much, excellent Chris. work, excellent work. <laughs> I just had you. to say it, so. All, all right. right, thank you, Gary. <laughs> so awesome. She just made me an honorary member. Look at that. <laughs> of the team, look at that. Awesome. You guys are awesome. Yes. I, you know, it, it's so it, it's great to see, you know, those who always come. I mean, Maria, Tanja. Is it Tanja or Tanya? I, I, I don't want to mess up your name. Is it Tanja or Tanya? Tanja. Okay. And uh, Bev, Elizabeth, Prince, Martha, everybody, and Don. <laughs> And um, it, it's just great to see uh, regular faces. And, you know, Trina, I like that you come in to get that information. And we have Coretta and Ira and everybody here. And so, and, you know, and this is the end of the year. And it just, like I said, it's the end of the year, but it doesn't end. And I know it, um, people are asking me, so what are you going to be doing in Toastmasters? I'm still going to be in Toastmasters, and what what I'm going to be doing is focusing on oh, my speaking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that too, because I want to mm -hmm. speaking and putting that podcast up. together, and uh, and my speaking business. And I, it's time to get it out there. 
because I've been behind the Toastmasters rim. Now it's time to take it to another level. And my thing is, is that even though I'm teaching VBPRs, you never know, this is probably the next thing where I help Toastmasters bridge to becoming a, a paid speaker. And that's something that we just don't talk about because we love to speak. But now it's time to get paid for it. <laughs> figure out how to get there. Yes. And were you able to sh um, to share or are you still looking for it? Oh, no, I found it. Oh, you did. OK, great. Let me let me put my camera to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that is so neat oh you talking about that oh i like that i saw that in the uh what's it called that? In the, the banner movie. parade in the banner parade when yes, I saw he, that, oh. he developed that for our banner parade entry i love it we love when, it because when i saw it when um what's the name allison showed me i said i like that photo I said, I said, look at Elizabeth. She looked like that's your headshot to be an actress. <laughs> it is a headshot. It is. Oh my God. I love hey, it. Oh, it's really nice. Elizabeth. Show the other one. Thank you. Because you look very studious. Yeah, it's pretty. Yo. It's nice. You, look at everybody but, else in the club. Martha and the down there. I'm trying to see. Yep, I see everyone. McKinsey. Mackenzie, he was here too. He left. <laughs> yep. Well, yep. Yeah. I see everyone. Denmark. Everybody looks mm -hmm. great. Nice. I love it. Very nice. Very nice. Yep. No one's trying to get another one. That yeah. was Chris's work. <laughs> yes. Martha's and, uh, over here volunteering me just and saying, you know where to get another one. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> it's all about coverage, then. And then whoever is going to be your, your successor for the VPPR, um, I will be training uh, this Saturday for the, the for the TLI club officers training for the VPPRs. Yeah, that's so. great. And well, I know for one club, I won't have to worry about being having a successor because I'm continuing my run there. All right. It's going to be great. And like I told my successor, I said, you know, you're going to be, you're going to be excellent. You're going to be great. You know, you just be you. And that's the thing about everyone else. You know, if you did a great job for your club this year and you give it to the next person, you let them know that they have to bring in their whole heart and that, you know, whatever things that they know about BPPR and if they're creative, you know, let that shine. That's the most important because you don't want anyone to, to imitate you or whatever. You want them to be their genuine self and, and just bring their creativity and then it makes the club bigger and better. And so you don't want the copycats <laughs> at all, but you do want them to have the process. You want them to have the tools so they can be successful but you let them know that they need to come with them with their true self. Yes. And that's what I expect for anyone, you know, that I know people said coming after you. I said, no, 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 nothing. There was nothing that came from the sky. I, I, I promise you nothing came from the sky with a guide <laughs> and said, Valerie, do this. I just went to work and I put my whole heart in it. And that's all I did. You know, I didn't have anybody to give me a roadmap. I just created it. And so wow. whoever comes after Maybe. me, that's how, it, that's how it happens in life. Um, you just have to put in your whole heart and you have to believe in yourself. And that's the problem with today is that not, not enough people believe in themselves. And a lot of people don't know to this day. I think I told Trina, <laughs> I think I probably told Trina, how I, and I told um, Ellison, how I create design is that I have to listen to Brahms Symphony Number no. Two and Beethoven Symphony Number no. Five. Mm. And when I listen to those things or Vivaldi Four Seasons, 
that's how I get my creative designs. And I that's ironic, listen. Valerie, because Martha will tell you the type of music I listen to when I'm doing designs is house. Really? <laughs> Seriously. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I can't do it on house because I'll be doing this. <laughs> I won't be designing anything. You'd be like, is that fire done yet? I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, because I, when I heard your music, oh my God, I almost flipped. It was off the chain. But um, but it's it's great when you design by the music that you love that moves you. It's amazing. And that's that's all the thing I, you know, get to take away is that PR is creative. It's all about putting the word out and letting people know because the only people that's gonna know about your club are your members. <laughs> that's it. But once you put it out there on your social media channels, on your websites, YouTube channels, wherever you're promoting, that is how you're going to build great members, turning those guests into members because consistency is everything. And once your guests know that social media is up to date and you have an event, that's one thing I learned from Jack Chamberlain. Is it Chamberlain from your club, Trina? Oh, I can't hear you. You're on mute. Uh, That's so sick. <laughs> Shalabian. Shalabian. Yeah. I was talking Yeah, Jack Shalabian. Shalabian. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he told me years ago that someone told him to say, never say club meeting. He said, say club events. And, and it was at one of those district council meetings. And it was for all the presidents. And I tried it out and I said club event for the whole year. Do you know, we probably received like maybe 13 guests and out of those 13, 10 of them became members. Yes. And we just kept doing it and we just kept getting more members and more members because why people go to meetings every day at work. Who wants to hear the word meeting again? So you say club event, they say, oh, I'm going to an event, a Toastmasters event, and it's just a meeting. But however, you can create your actual meeting as an event because we have speakers, you have Toastmasters uh, table topics. And so these are the things that you really want to hone in when you are posting on your social media channels. Yeah. Concerts. <laughs> Concerts, yep. <Yeah. laughs> now um, Alice Ann is having some sipping, sipping paint. I was like, oh, oh my. nice. Sipping paint. I was like, all right, bring your own wine. I don't drink, but I bring some ginger ale. Uh, but this is, if this is how people are coming to Toastmasters and making it creative, by all means, uh, go ahead and do it. But I, I'm just going to say, I really enjoyed everyone and I wish you all the success in the end of your year as a VPPR. And I look forward to seeing all you doing great things in the next year. And what I'm going to do, I'm gonna stop recording.